They don't have respect in that place. This is what I found out when I was there on the 15th. They don't have respect for people. You know, I was taught to be respectful to people and show them respect. This is the way I was raised in, in the office. They have no respect for nobody, the clients, nobody. They were just putting a show on for the person was interviewing all of us, just putting a show on like it's all right, it's okay, you know, nothing's going wrong, everything's going perfect, but no, it's not, because it's just they don't show each other respect. It's just like in school, they get them through and that's it, just shove them through the next class, the next grade up, it's like we're getting trouble from one place to another place, to another person, to another person, you know, and it's not right. They can't be shuffling us around like that because we get used to one person, then we have to turn around and get used to the next person, and then they switch us again and start all over, and it's just, just a hassle. My background, um, I was a critical care nurse for the better part of two decades. Um, I trained with United Cerebral Palsy Foundation. I did an internship at Hattie Larum. Um, I worked with Weaver School and Workshop. So I had some background in working with people with disabilities. And as a critical care nurse, one of my priorities was always advocating for my patients. And I felt like it was also necessary for me to advocate for those clients for their best interest, for what they've told me that their needs are, their concerns are. And when I would try and do that, I was essentially told, I don't care. We're going to do it our way. I want more than anything for this action to change that corporate culture. My fundamental issue with the job is that I never received training. A day and a half of training is not training enough to do the job that I did. I was never trained to do job development. I was never trained to job coach. They just said go and figure it out and that's what I did. And it was fine for 10 months. I mean all of a sudden if it wasn't good enough, it wasn't fine. I got written up June 14th by Jarrell and then I got written up um, July 3rd by Christy and that was an estimation of 15 items she had pointed out on three different write-ups. And the day that Christy called me in the office, I had been at the library typing up reports, so I wasn't going to be in the office itself. And she called me in there. She told me I could no longer work from the library or anything else. If I had typed reports, I had typed them from the office. When I got there, she called me in, and she had all these write-ups, and I didn't want to sign them. And I told her I didn't want to sign them because I didn't agree with them. They were, they were unjust, they were unfair, um, and she told me that if I didn't sign them, she was going to have call the Smithville police and have me physically removed from the building. You had mentioned right around the same time of your first write-up, you had been talking with someone about working together to make the workplace better. Uh -huh. And had you had any kind of problems or reprimands before that conversation was overheard by others? No. No, not at all.